Well, students, we're gonna keep working on these paintings. Um, there are so many different options that you can do. I just wanna show you a couple other techniques to use uh, with your brush. Um, the first thing I would like you to make sure of is any papers that I give to you, um, please make sure that you get your name on the back. I just was checking to see which side was more clean because sometimes there might be a mark on one side. So make sure your names get on them. And once you have your name on them, then you can start painting. Now, I'm just gonna move these over so I have more space. And first one thing that I wanna give you a reminder of is um, with this, with your brush, you don't need a ton of water. Just dip your, your brush in, just wipe off some of the water. If you need to hold the cup to kind of get around the edges, because most of them have kind of a ring, so you do wanna make sure you're going around the sides and getting a lot of paint on your brush. Get another drop of water to really load your brush up with paint. Once you have enough paint, if you realize that when you make your first brush stroke that it's kind of gray, that means stop and add more paint to it. So here, loaded it up. If you need to hold the cup to do that, you can. Um, I wanted to do just a, a one that was just kind of some quick just kind of some small curved kind of brush strokes because I, I see a lot of students that are doing um, a lot of um, straight line. So I encourage you to try to do some, um, some curves. And this, I think I'm pretty happy with just the simplicity of this one. I don't need to have a, a ton of uh, line on it. I mirror that with a little bit of a darker line so I can have some thick and thin lines. So try to do um, some curved line too. And when you're happy with one, you can just set it aside and let it dry. You're, you'll know you're doing the right thing by letting the, um, if the paper's drying quickly. Now, um, something I'm noticing too is if you have one where it dried kind of gray, it's not a bad idea to go back and kind of fix that line. So here I'm just gonna take this and put a another layer of paint on it. I don't wanna add too much water because then it's just gonna stay gray. So more paint, less water. Once I have Fix that one up a little bit. I'll put this one back. I'm trying to keep my hands clean. Um, another kind that I wanted to show you was um, doing a, a little bit of just kind of stamping with the brush. So here, I'm gonna change the way I'm holding it. And I'm gonna hold it more like this. So here, I'm going to just kind of do a, a little bit of a press. And I might do like one row and then get more paint on my brush. Keep it in a point. Hold my brush like this and I might stamp these ones in between. So that can kind of create kind of a fun texture. I can tell my brush is sticking there. Let's get a little more paint. So don't do too much. Just do a little bit at a time. Especially if you're doing like a stamping, press, pressing motion, um, you can get a lot of water on here if you're not careful. So a lot of this is just mark making and figuring out different ways that your brush can create different marks and lines. Even though these are abstract, it's not meant to be a race, so take your time. Okay, so I'm happy with the way that one looks. I kind of like that, just that stamping texture. And then the last one I wanted to do was a really, really, really simple one. Um, 
that I've been having some students, one of the main uh, things I've been talking to students about is having some that have more white. So like this one has a ton of black. That's why I wanted this one to have more white. The, these ones all have quite a bit of black. So it's okay to have some where you might just do a few lines. I do want you to try to do some that are really thin. You can see I'm even just missing the paper a little bit. So like that can be done just the way that it is. It has a lot of white. It might contrast against one of the ones that has um, that has more to it. If I want some thin line and I do want to make this line here at the bottom wider, that's fine. And then maybe this one is going to have all of this white space and just a little bit of black. So that's kind of called balancing it out where you have some thin line, some thick line, some curved line, some straight line. So please come up with a variety of things. When we're done, I, I will have you just, um, I'll take your brush, you'll bring up your water and your paint, and I would like you to put these more towards the middle so that they don't fall off when I pick them up. And you can see I did a good job making sure not to use too much water because everything is drying. You can just kind of move things towards the middle. If they're dry, you can just stack them up too. And then they won't fall off when I come by and pick them up. All right, let's have fun working on these.